Yo folks, Yu Sushin and Ding Yushid are back in action, teaming up for another round in Love Game in Eastern Fantasy. After their chemistry sparked in Moonlight, everyone thought they were basically besties. But hold up, filming this time got a bit bumpy, since Yu Sushin had her hands full with other gigs. Word on the street is that Ding Yushi was so stressed about the delays that he shed some tears, like, who knew being a heartthrob could be so tough. But don't you worry, the drama's trailer is a total banger, racking up over 14.25 million views faster than you can say, let's binge watch. From what we can see, Wee Suashin character is totally eyeing Ding Yushi like he's the last slice of pizza at a party. Their love story is a wild ride of sweet moments and gut-wrenching scenes where they're both left bloodied and broken. Seriously, it's like a romantic buffet, sweet with a side of pain. Love Game in Eastern Fantasy is based on the novel The Guide to Capturing a Black Lotus, where our girl Ling Miao Miao, played by Yui Xin, time travels to ancient times and finds herself in a bit of a pickle. Her mission? Raise Mushin affection from a dismal negative 200 to a sweet positive 100, or else she's stuck in the past forever. No pressure, right? To seal the deal, she even climbs into his bed to act cute when she can't catch some Zs. Now, let's talk side characters. Zhong Jialid is stepping into the role of Mu Rongur, Mu Sung Mama, serving up some serious drama with her on-screen love interest, Shi Ha Chao, who's hot off his fame from a dream of splendor and love between fairy and devil. They share a romance that's so tragic it might just make you weep. Grab those tissues, folks. And what about Zhang Chenggong? He's playing Lu Huan, the demon hunter who's got a reputation for catching demons like their Pokemon. He's got that mystical vibe going on with his wide-sleeved costume. Talk about ethereal. You remember Wu Yun Shi, right? He shot to fame as the dreamy second lead junior in Ashes of Love with Yang Ziyu and Deng Lun. Last year, he teamed up with Lo in the tearjerker till the end of the moon, and bam, they're now top stars in Chinese dramas. But it hasn't been all sunshine and rainbows for him. In a wild twist, he injured his mouth while filming and was stuck eating liquid food, think smoothies and soup. This made him look super slim during till the end of the moon, fitting for his sinister demon god role. But then came Follow Your Heart, his latest costume comedy with Song Yi, and oh, his weight loss made his head look like a giant balloon on a tiny body, not the chemistry they wanted. The show flopped, leaving Luo Yunxi heartthrob status hanging by a thread. But fear not fans, Luo Yunxi has waved goodbye to the costume dramas for now and jumped into the suspense drama realm with the truth within. At the opening ceremony, he rocked a new short hairdo for his role as a forensic doctor. And guess what? He's put on some weight and looks better than ever. No more balloon head. He's back to being the snack we all know and love. Recently, Luo Yunxi just dropped his first look in The Truth Within, and wow, he's vibin' hard. Decked out in all black with a hooded jacket and cargo pants, he's totally giving off comic book hero vibes. Netizens are losing it over his sharp features and mysterious look, like, I can solve crimes and still look fly. But wait, it gets better. He took a break from acting to hit the stage at the Longya Chinese Style Music Festival, his first ever music fest. Dressed in a black leather jacket and tan pants, he rocked a style way different from his usual elegant self. And get this, during one performance, as the guitarist went wild, Luo Yunxi started biting his lip and pretending to play air guitar. That moment went viral on Douyin faster than you can say fan favorite. Now, let's chat about the one and only Chung Yi, who shot to fame with mysterious Lotus Casebook and is now drowning in brand endorsements. After wrapping up Fox Spirit Matchmaker Sword and Beloved, Cheng Yi jumped right in to go to the mountains and see, all while juggling a mountain of commercial gigs. Seriously, this guy's schedule is more packed than a suitcase during a last-minute trip. Now, here's the scoop. Go to the mountains and see is filming with two units, A and B. The A unit has already wrapped up, so once Cheng Yi finishes his action scenes, he'll be done too. Fans were on set and clocked that he started filming at 11 a.m. and didn't wrap until 3 a.m. That's 16 hours straight, people. And this was on his seventh consecutive workday. Despite being dead tired, he didn't wave goodbye, but as he rolled by in his van, he rolled down the window to give his fans a shout out. Now that's how you show love. But hold up. Cheng Yi had a bit of a rough patch. There was this wild moment when he got dropped onto stone steps while suspended on wires during filming. His studio said he was fine, but the production team was mum about the whole thing and didn't let him get checked out. Fans later spotted bruises on his wrist and fingers. Still, Cheng Yi powered through like a champ, and fans were left feeling all sorts of concerned and heartbroken. And get this, this isn't even the first time he's pulled a marathon filming session. Some netizens pointed out that during the mid-autumn festival, he worked for a whopping 19 hours. The filming for Go to the Mountains and Sea is set for 140 days, starting in June. The plan was to shoot for nearly five months, but with things wrapping up early in October, folks are speculating it's due to budget issues. So, 
Here's hoping Chung Yi gets some much needed rest soon because this star deserves a break. Alright, let's dish about Jolly. Even though she hasn't dropped any new dramas this year, the hype for her upcoming series Love's Ambition is off the charts. With her glow up from weight loss, killer makeup, and fab looks, even her behind the scenes pics are going viral. Ja Lusu views on Yin are sky high, hitting a whopping 107 billion and leaving Bai Lu and Yu Su Xin in the dust. She's totally the social media queen. In some juicy news, Ja Lusu, new drama The Story of Pro Girl might air at the same time as Yu Su Xin Love Game in Eastern Fantasy later this month. If that happens, it'll be a fierce face off, just like when they battled it out during Love Like the Galaxy and Love Between Fairy and Devil. Fans are buzzing, wondering if this will shake up their popularity rankings. Of course, Zhao, Lu Su, not without her critics. Some folks have been throwing shade about her round face and fleshy tip nose, claiming she looks puffy on camera. But recently, she's been looking slimmer, leading to wild plastic surgery rumors. She's been sharing bare face selfies and makeup removal videos to set the record straight. However, during a recent sponsored video promoting thermal wear, her slimmer nose sparked chatter again, with some saying she looked unnatural. Cue the speculation. Now, she's gearing up to film her new modern drama Almost Lover at the end of the month and even cut her hair to shoulder length for the role. In a recent video, she rocked a bare face look, showing off her flawless skin with a short hairstyle and black framed glasses that gave her a cute, artsy vibe. But netizens weren't letting it slide. They noticed her nose looked sharper and narrower compared to her debut days, leading to more plastic surgery talk. All right, Jolly Ying just made a splash in the film world, and it's making waves. Her latest flick, Tiger Wolf Rabbit, raked in over 360 million yuan, about 49.2 million US dollars, during the Chinese National Day holiday. Talk about a box office knockout. But wait, there's more. She's also teaming up with Sheen Jirlei for a new film, The Unseen Sister, and the trailer dropped with a bang, racking up over a million views in less than a day. Everyone's buzzing about it. Now, let's break it down. The Unseen Sister is based on a short story by Zhang Yiran, and it follows Da Liying character, Chao Yan. She starts off in a small town and works her way up to stardom. But just when she thinks she's got it made, she gets hit with some blackmail and the surprise return of her long-lost sister, played by Sheen Drillai. Drama alert! In a standout scene, Chao Yan encounters a wealthy sponsor, making inappropriate advances. But does she take it? Nope. She douses him and her agent with red wine, serving up some serious sass. Fans are loving this bold move and can't wait for the film's release. And here's something to admire. In the trailer, Zhao Liying character speaks in the Yunnan dialect when chatting with her sister. This is a big deal because Zhao Liying is from Hebari and had to learn this dialect specifically for the role. Remember when she learned sign language for Article 20? This lady's got skills. But it's not all glitz and glam for Chao Yan. The movie dives into the harsh realities of the entertainment industry, where she has to deal with sleazy sponsors and their demands. When she cut ties with her former agent, Rumors swirled that she had a shady past. Plus, her old relationship with actor Chen Xiao? That topic is heating up again, especially since he never acknowledged their relationship. Ouch. That's all for today, folks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you're always in the loop. Catch you next time.